Hey guys, Xiaomi. Today we have a video about the Giant's Abyss Heart featuring Tasha and no other LD4 star unit. I know not everyone has a Tasha, but this is some sort of an end game team for like speed clear because even if you have a Tasha, the rune requirement for this unit can still be pretty high for most players. So if you have Tasha and you want to learn about this team without any 4 star LD unit, then hopefully this video can help you out with that because I am so happy I was able to build this team and not rely on stupid Galleon AI or whatever nonsense. Okay, so let's take a look at the rune of the team. We have first, of course, the Tesha is on rage, attack, quick damage, and attack. So because this unit bring a 33% critical leader for dungeon, it is much easier to build any unit on the team. Tesha requires 67% crit rate minimal because you will have to attack the crystal and they are neutral element which means you will need 67 crit rate minimum to always crit on them to clear the trash wave as soon as possible. If you have enough attack and crit damage, you probably can clear the trash wave with Tesha alone, but mine doesn't hit hard enough, okay? This is probably my best rage, potentially, one of my best rage rune ever after like almost 10 years of playing this game and I still have that golem lying around and I know I will need 300 more attack or maybe 20% more crit damage to even come close to killing that golem. So I don't plan on making my Tesha any better. This is more than enough because the leftover can be killed by the wind homunculus instantly. So the Wind Homunculus is on the max HP damage build. All three skill and skill one is a single hit skill and he's also on Rage. But the good thing about the Wind Homunculus is that he will only hit Water Unit. So you can have lower crit rate on this guy. So with the leader, you have 33 plus another 15 from the elemental advantage. You have 52 crit rate minimum. So at 56, I can reduce the crit rate a little bit more and boost the damage a little bit more. But for now, this is more than enough. And for this unit, you want to prioritize more crit damage instead of having more attack. But having more attack is always great because he is an attack type unit. But for the boss, like the main boss, you will need as much crit damage as possible. So for the artifact, you don't have to go for the attack main stat. But if you can, hey, it's better. Like it's a little bit of extra damage, but focus on getting crit damage, skill three, skill two, crit damage, less when enemy HP, whatever. Or first attack crit damage is also good. Damage on water over here is very, very important. So this will be the main damage dealer for the boss and he will most likely use this to kill the mid boss and this to clear the trash wave. Next up, we have another damage dealer and that's going to be Lin. So for this unit, it is on double nemesis for a reason, okay? But for the most part, if you don't have nemesis, you can still use a normal Lin and it's gonna be fine. For this unit, it's on HP, crit damage and HP. Doesn't matter what she has, okay? She can be on attack flat crit damage resistance it doesn't matter most or if not all of her damage will come from her crit damage because all three skill also scale with max hp we have damage on water and some crit damage over here next we have the defense breaker on full fight rune which may not be necessary if your tasha is already hitting hard enough because the fight rune is meaningless for the boss anyway but she's on full fight on speed crit damage and accuracy I recommend you try to build this unit on some sort of damage as well. So I have some damage artifact over here because sometimes when things go wrong because the damage goes into a range when you deal damage on the enemy, it's not always a fixed number. So sometimes when all of your unit will hit the lower end of the range and the boss is left with like 100 HP or whatever, then she can do the cleanup damage and that is gonna be awesome because you don't have to wait for the boss to attack you and waste a lot of time. Lastly, we have Konamiya who will boost the Tesha like how you saw. It is on double Nemesis fight, but I realized that this being on Nemesis is already good enough. You don't need this unit to be on Nemesis because my thought process was the boss will have the defense break. It will kill my entire team. How do I save my team? So I put Nemesis on Konamiya so that it can cut in between and heal. But after trying out a little while I realized that why not just put Nemesis on her instead and she can cut in between and just heal the boss for me instead of trying to heal back. So you don't need Nemesis on this guy. You can put Fight Rune, you can put Shield Rune, 
You can put whatever, okay? My main fighting is about Lin having the nemesis because she would cut in between and do what she needed to do. Sometimes she derp and she have another chance to fix her problem by using this skill if she cut in between. There will be a run where both my damage dealer will decide to use their skill one like back to back, which can happen. And that's why this guy is pretty much non-negotiable. You have to run this unit because he can come back to life and deal more damage in that state. And that is like two more turn of him having another opportunity to use this skill. This guy will only have to use this skill once and that is pretty much it. I've also tried to use this bird here, but it didn't work for me because he will boost the wind homunculus and then the wind homunculus will do another skill one and then get killed and then come back to do another skill one. It is very hard to watch. I don't know why, but whenever I try this variation now, I have given it a try many, many times. It just doesn't work. But when I run this, it is much safer. And that is really awesome. Because the moment the Windmongolers use skill 3 once, this unit will always do Phantom Crush. And that is absolutely incredible. But I have also made another finding. So you, we all know Luna, the Dark Pire, who is the god tier unit for this dungeon because she has perfect AI. This is the Luna, but water element. Very similar skill. So he has a skill 3 that can deal max HP damage and reset enemy attack bar. The skill 2 somehow scale with his own max HP. Like, bro, just make this skill scale with enemy HP as well. What is the... <laughs> I don't get it. He could have been the perfect unit. He's really good, though. That skill 3 can do a lot of damage. Let me show you. Like, this guy could have been the perfect Giant's Abyss unit or the perfect Dragon Abyss unit because he's so similar to Luna because of that skill right there. It does amazing damage. It reduces enemy attack power in case you can't kill the boss. Then the boss attack power will get reset. So it makes the run safe and strong. But then he has dog shit AI. He may use it. Like right here, if he chooses to not use it. He has skill 2 that can push back the boss attack bar, And it will make the run safer. It's like his own nemesis rune situation with the Lin that I put it on. And his skill 3 damage is amazing. If only he has perfect AI. He'll be the perfect replacement to Luna because of how good he is in attack bar control and good max HP damage. If you search for a unit that does damage according to max HP and attack bar reduction, there's only a couple different units and they're all pretty shit, right? There's this girl who is the best in the job and then there's this guy and the rest of the unit doesn't really matter. This girl could have been good, but then it's an AOE skill, so the scaling sucks. This guy could have been good, but when you get to the boss stage, you cannot guarantee him to use this or this. So it also sucks and because it is an AOE attack. It will have a maximum cap of like 120k damage-ish with your average rune. So it's also not that good. You can also run Veramos, but same problem. You cannot guarantee him to do this skill and this skill, even if he does it, doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And that is another problem. So this guy could have been the perfect unit. If only he has good AI. So come to us. Can we please fix this problem? <laughs> That'd be very amazing. Maybe give him a different awakening. He doesn't need this leader skill. Okay, this leader skill is kind of meaningless. But if you give the awakening to give him a a difference in this skill, maybe a change in the AI by adding a max HP condition, then he'll be the perfect unit for giants. We can ditch lean and, and summon for this guy because he's a four star. He's hard to get. Look at that. Look at that damage. That is incredible. He could be the perfect unit, but no, <laughs> he's, he's garbage. Oh my God. It's so sad, guys. It is so sad. And I've tried pretty much everything else in this slot. Also, if you find your Lin team is not very stable, this key 4 unit will be the base for your team. You can add in pretty much anything that either deal damage or control the enemy attack bar or provide you some sort of buff to protect the team from the boss killing your entire team. Then it's going to be the perfect team, even though it might not be faster, but it'll be safe. So I've tried Veramos in that slot. And what I do is I put Veramos to move after Prelia. So that Veramos can cleanse the defense break at the right moment and Veramos can do damage. But the run will be somewhere about 40 to 50 seconds. Not as fast, but very, very safe. As you can see right here, the boss is going to do the attack and boom, I gain the attack bar. So I don't need the bird to do the thing, but then Lin would do the job. And then the run will be about 30-ish seconds. It will be 40 seconds if I don't do that or 45. So my run time has reduced by a couple seconds in average, like doesn't really mean anything, but I find that 
I'm very happy to get my runtime down to another couple seconds. And that's pretty much it. That is my Giants Abyss Heart team. Let me know if you are using a similar team in the comment section down below. I know this is not some free to play guy, some beginner guy that I usually do, but it is just something that I use. And unfortunately, it is the current best team that is available to us. And every other option will either be slower. Yeah, it's just not as good. <laughs> like this is just the best team. And I don't have the LD 4-star. If I have the LD 4-star, then I will go watch Sei Shizu Guy, and I don't have to watch Sean B. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.